Mom, and today we are going to learn how to do messages with invisible ink. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to select a citrus fruit, either a lemon, a lime, or an orange. Um, if you want to use all three, that's fine to see which one gives the coolest message. Um, if you just have one sitting around the house, that's perfectly fine too. Whatever works good for you is fine for me. What I'm personally going to do today is I am going to use all three and I'm going to write a different message with each one and we are going to see which one turns out the best. So what you will need is your different citrus fruits. You need some bowls. You need Q-tips because this is going to be like your pencil. And you need some pieces of paper. If you're going to do more than one citrus fruit, uh, make sure that you have a pen so that you can label where you did each one at. You will also need a heat source. I am using an iron today. Make sure that you plug that in um, right when you get started so that way it has plenty of time to heat up. Um, also, make sure you put a towel down for under your heat source so that way you don't ruin the table that it is sitting on. All right, so what you wanna do is take your citrus fruit. Please make sure that you either have parent permission or parent supervision before you start slicing the fruit. You're gonna take them and you're gonna squeeze them into the bowls. So that way you have the juice to write with. Okay. All right, and since I'm gonna use all three fruit, I'm going to take my white piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in thirds. If you were just using one type of fruit, like what Carter's gonna do, you can just leave your paper blank. You don't need to fold it or write on it. All right, so you have it in thirds, and you're gonna label each one. Uh, the first one will be lemon. The second one will be lime. And then orange. And then orange. That's right. So like this. All right. Then what you want to do is you want to get your Q-tip, and you want to dip it into your magic citrus juice, which is going to be our invisible ink, and you want to write on your paper. All right, go ahead. You go first, Mom. All right. Okay. So I've written with the lemon. I'm going to put it back. I'm going to dip in the lime juice. I'm going to write also in the lime juice. And then lastly, I'm going to borrow some of the orange juice as well. And I'm going to write in the orange section. Alright, so you can see that it's kind of wet right now. What you'll want to do is you want this to dry for a little bit before you start using the iron. So we're going to set this off to the side for just a minute while this continues to heat up. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm glad you waited that five to 10 minutes to let your papers dry. Now we are ready to, see, to decode our secret message. So I'm gonna take my iron and I'm going to press it down on top of my message. Are you excited? Okay, thanks bud. You're welcome. It's starting to show up. See if mom did it white and thing. Yeah, it didn't look like it, did it? That's why it's invisible ink. Mom, did it look like I wore anything? We'll have to see. <gasps> Starting. Hi. Hi. What else do you think it's going to say? You think it's going to say aloha? No. The aloha, maybe. We'll see. Maybe hi in three different languages. We'll have to see what it says. Charlie, I didn't that. <laughs> oh. No, friend. Friends. So, Hi, friends. Hi, friends. I think it's going to be that. Hi, friends. I knew that. I would look like it. That says friends, Mom. It does. And then, here we go. The last one. Hi, friends. Good time. Hi, friends. Good time. Do you think that's what it's going to say? We'll have to see. What is she writing? It looks like she wrote nothing. 
Because it's kind of invisible. And you don't know where you're waiting. You don't do your parents. <laughs> I know. And due to survival, due to survival of parents looking, Carter. Like, ask them for us to cut them up. <laughs> All right. Hi, friends. I miss you. Hi, friends. I miss you. So this says, hi, friends. I miss you. So for me to my students, I'm missing you guys a whole lot and hope that everybody is staying safe. I would love for everybody out there to create your own secret message and share them with me for what you have created. Carter also has a secret message that he wrote for his friends. Share with us I what you I miss you guys because I really miss my best friends. Very nice. Because they make me laugh and I like it. Very nice. Now we're going to learn the science behind the invisible ink. All right, so let's talk about the science behind our invisible ink. So, um, all of our citrus fruits have carbon compounds in them, as do all living things. What happens, though, is when you write, it's clear, but when the heat is applied to it, it breaks the carbon compounds apart, and it goes through a pro process known as oxidation. So, if you've ever cut up a banana, what happens to the banana if you leave it out too long? It's going to rotten. It's going to rot. It's going to start turning brown because it's mm -hmm. oxidizing. Same thing with avocados. Same thing with our citrus juices and our invisible ink. When they're exposed to heat, they start oxidizing. So that's what makes our message show up. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed making invisible ink as much as we have and learning the science behind it. Please join us next time for another fun family experiment. This is Science Mom and Science Carter. Goodbye. See you later. Bye.